everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel as you can tell maybe maybe not the quality of this video has improved a lot wonder why you know where I'm getting at no okay I'll explain so I finally have a new camera it's the Canon 70D and I love it so 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 much and as you can tell I have autofocus now for video and I think it's gonna make my videos so much better and then I won't have to keep like touching the lens and going like this and like ugh, oh my gosh actually real quick let's do a little test oh my gosh did you see how quick it did that and now it's back on me oh my gosh I'm so not used to this Okay, I am because I've used other cameras, but to be real, like, I'm just so happy. It's like a dream come true. Ah, oh, it's gonna make me so much more motivated to film because I know you guys probably are like, um, Catherine, you didn't post a video last week or whatever week it was. But anyway, basically, if you don't know, I've been posting videos pretty much every week consistently. And then one week, I just didn't feel motivated enough to post. I didn't know what video to film and my camera was having problems, so I just didn't film anything but now I'm back on my schedule and I should be posting weekly again so yay um anyway that's not what this video is sorry for rambling this video is going to be my conch piercing update because as you may or may not know I've had my conch piercing which is this piercing right here the little purple thing in my ear for about six months now and so I'm just gonna go through how it's been doing, you know, what I've been using to heal it, that sort of thing. So I got this piercing in August of last year, and now it's February, so today exactly is six months, today exactly. And it's been a pretty good piercing for the most part. I mean, it's still a little bit sore when I touch it. Um, but for the most part, it's been doing fine. It hasn't been, like, bleeding or... Nothing weird has been coming out of it or anything. Um, so for the most part, I'd say it's a pretty good piercing. Um, basically, what I used to heal it is H2 Ocean. And I'm sure you all know what that looks like if you're watching this video. So I won't show it. Or maybe I'll put a picture if I feel like it. I don't know. But anyway, I use H2 Ocean to clean it. And then also, whenever I take a shower, I use piercing soap. And I just kind of rub it in there, rub it in the front. I just use my finger when I'm in the shower. So I just rub it in the front and then rub it in the back. And um, then I do that. I, do, I use the piercing soap only when I shower. So like, I don't know, four or five times a week, depending on what days I decide to shower because you're not supposed to shower every day. And for the H2 Ocean, I do that at least twice a day. So I'm cleaning it two to three times a day and it's been pretty good it hurts like some days it hurts more than others like yesterday it was hurting really bad for some reason i didn't bump it or anything so i don't know why it was hurting so bad but some days it'll just hurt really really bad but you know most days it's fine it doesn't hurt um i really really can't wait to change it i already bought a piece of jewelry it's a ring and it's black and i'm so excited to wear it because I've been like looking on Pinterest for like inspiration um, for jewelry to buy and I don't want to buy any more until it's healed until I can change it because otherwise I'm gonna like because otherwise I'm gonna like go crazy but yeah so <laughs> I am so excited to finally change it which probably won't be for a few more months so yeah I actually something I'm kind of afraid of is I might have to actually take it out for like a short period of time because I'm gonna be getting my hair done soon hopefully and um, I think it would be pretty difficult to um, have my hair done with this piercing in especially since you know my hairdresser's a little rough when it comes to stuff like that so I guess I could just also just tell him to be careful about it but anyway that's a, another story hopefully hopefully I won't have to take it out but we'll see but anyway for the most part the piercing's been doing pretty good um, I've been cleaning it it hurts sometimes nothing you know no infections or anything to it uh, I also got my nose pierced recently too I didn't actually make a video on that or anything because I've had it before but I got my nose pierced and it's been doing good it had a um, 
a lot of people call them keloids, but they're not keloids. Um, the little piercing bump that you get on your nose. But anyway, this isn't a nose piercing video, this is a contour piercing video. So, yeah, I just, I really can't wait to change it because I'm kind of sick of this jewelry. I wish I picked something different, but you're not supposed to get it pierced with a ring, so I had to get a stud. But once it reaches the healing point, I will be changing it to a ring immediately because I can't wait. And, yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. Um, piercing is good. Still cleaning it two to three times a day. Mm, I've heard that as time goes on you can clean it less, but I don't know, it's just easier for me to clean it when I wake up and before I go to bed, so that's what I do. And yeah, I think for most people it takes like 9 to 12 months to heal, so I know for a fact it's definitely not healed yet though because like I said it was hurting a lot yesterday, so I'll probably wait till it's fully healed. Um, but yeah, even though I'm like very impatient. Also, sorry for the setup. I have to sit on the floor because there's this thing for my tripod that I think I left at home. So I can't use my tripod. So I'm just like sitting on my floor, <laughs> propping my camera up and yeah. But anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to smile and have a great day. Just pull me a little closer. Oh,